Okay, mate. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Geelong District Football League Reserves Grand Final. Grubby Cations. I'm Noel Fanning. I've got Grubby Cations with me. Um, Grubby, uh, where have you went through the season undefeated and lost the second semi? It's the only defeat they've had in two years. Uh, no, I think they might have lost a couple last year as well. But, um, yeah, they did go through undefeated. They come into the second semi as, as, as clear favourites, but, you know, a little bit much height, a bit of rain. Bannock Burn were fantastic, and they beat them. This promises to be a fantastic game of footy. OK, from the very word go, you sound like you're going to select Werribee for what reason? Well, number one, if I don't, I'll get lynched, obviously. Yes, that's being fair. Being part that's of them and being president of them. That's fair point. But I just think the conditions, just without the rain, might just favour Werribee Central's tall timber a little bit more. Much better day than the uh, second semi-final day? Sorry, sorry, I'm not. Much better day, oh, today yeah. than second yeah. semi-final day. Yeah. If the rain comes, I'll change my prediction, no? I hear you got in the ruck there. Let me see. That's big Peter Gray in the ruck. And up he goes. He's up against big... Stephen Thompson, Stephen mate. Thompson in the ruck there for Bannockburn. It's a bit of a scramble as they try and get the ball out for the first kick of the game. It actually goes to Werribee Centrals. Down towards the half-forward flank. The players run after it, but it goes straight over the line and out of bounds for the first throw in of the day. That was in front of uh, Sean Fogarty, I think. Too, it was too. Werribee. It was Sean Fogarty. It's a bit far to see for me, but um, maybe... No, it might have been Justin Johns, actually was leading in the race for the ball. Boundary umpire to throw it in. In it comes. The big men go up and up. They've picked a free kick out of this somewhere and it's going to go to Werribee Centrals by the looks of it. It's against the Bannockburn Ruckman and it will go to Peter Gray. Werribee have obviously won the toss kick with the win. It's not Peter Gray. It's Marty Colleen as he kicks it down towards the centre-half forward and Fogarty takes a brilliant mark at centre-half forward. Probably the true centre-half forward position. Can't quite see the 50 metre line, Noel, but it's around about 50 out. He'd be just about, uh, I reckon he'd be about 45 metres out there. Grubby just walked over the 50 metre yeah, line. There it is there. Thank yeah. you very much. And he's about, yeah, he might only be 40 metres out there. Kick from 45 with a strong wind behind him. I think distance isn't a problem here. Basically, it's just the accuracy that's going to count. Pretty strong wind now. It's picked up a little bit, Fano. It has, it has hasn't it, since the under-18's finished? Yeah, it has. And it's uh, favouring the right of screen, which is the end that uh, Werribee are kicking to. And they did win the toss, I noted. Yeah, in comes speed. Uh, Fogarty. Fogarty looks like he's kicked it straight as a die. The umpire no, moves across but not very far and he'll signal full points for the first goal of the 2001 Grand Final to Werribee Centrals. Well uh, that was a very handy goal. Uh, he used the window to his advantage and kicked it like an arrow. Got a lot of talent young Fogarty. I'd say he can be a senior player. Probably has to work a little bit harder but uh, if and when he does he'll be a very good contributor for the Werribee Centrals Footy Club. Well that's good to hear. Now, uh, will the same bloke, the same bloke take the ruck? The same bloke will take the ruck. I've just picked up in the pack. I couldn't see who got that first kick out. It looked to me to be David Dawling from Bowen Heads. Up goes Peter Gray. Gets a clear tap out this time. Nobody can pick the ball up. It's again scrambly. Goes to Bannockburn. Kicked out of the pack there by the Bannockburn player. Gubs up. Marty Colleen's under it and takes a nice chest mark. Uncontested. Has a look further up the field. Taking a fair bit of time. Got to get the ball moving. Puts the left boot into it. Down in the half forward flank position. Bannockburn in the race for the ball here and the ball's going to go out of bounds, I would think. No, they've kept it in and now it's gone out. Looks like they've come to play today, Werribee. Well, maybe so, but they, they do have a win behind them, so you'd, you would expect them, if they were going to win the game, they have to kick some goals early. In comes the ball now. Peter Gray in ruck against Big Thompson. Nobody wins a clear tap out. Goes to the ground. Picked up by Bannockburn. Picked up there by... Cameron McCallum, he puts it forward, but it's a nice mark in defence by Scott Leftchuk. Scott Leftchuk will go back and have a look now on the half-back flank for Werribee Centrals. He puts the right boot into it down towards the centre-half forward position. And it's a big contest, but it's a wonderful mark there. Who's that out there, Ronnie? I couldn't quite pick him up. Could be Tommy Stanford by the looks of it. No, I'm not Ronnie. I'm Noel. Ronnie's the ugly fat bloke. Sorry, mate. Wrong bloke. That's a <laughs> puts it out towards <laughs> the wing position. And a big knockout by Rowan Thwaites and puts it over the boundary line. Put me on the spot here, that Ronnie Brain. He was supposed to call it. Yeah, he's let us all down, but we, we'll, we'll certainly rub it into him during the call. I usually just sit here and make special comments and drink cans. In comes the ball. <laughs> up in the ruck is Peter Gray and Big Thompson again. They'll have a big battle today. Could decide the game. Kicked up towards the half-forward flank. Johns goes for the ball. Bounces over his head. In his, oh, throwing the ball, holding the man. What's he going to pay? He's going to pay. Throw the uh, ball in. Yes, I think he is. No, he's going to throw it in. He's not going to pay anything, mate. He's yeah, just going to throw it, it in the boundary. That uh, could have nearly been against uh, Cameron McCallum then, but uh, the umpire said no. Up well, they as long as they leave it, in comes Peter Gray. Probably gets in the back of the Bannockburn opponent. No free kick paid, and he'll say, give it to me, boys, and I'll give it a bounce.
We're uh, half forward flank, where we'll be scoring end on the outer side here at St Albans Reserve, which is uh, the southern end of the ground. The umpire comes in to uh, throw the ball aloft, he does so. Up play Gray, Gray gets a tap down, no, comes to nobody in particular, it's kicked out of the pack, I didn't see you kick that up, but uh, thumbling the ball there for Banningburn was uh, David Stanford. Ball goes back into the pack, nobody can do anything with it. Oh, coming out there, uh, Grubby was a nice little chip Come from... Come and Come and solely, and he gets it up to another pack situation. Well, I hope this is not the trend of the day, packs all day. Oh, I think it might be just nerves early, uh, Fano. A few nerves early, they haven't quite got into their stride yet, it's, it's pretty natural for a grand final. As up goes the ball. He's in ruck. Oh, the big Thompson gets the big punch out. Comes over towards Johns. Johns picks it up and handballs to nobody in particular. It's picked up by Banning, but no, it's not. Yes, it is again now. And it's picked up by Jared Peters. He puts it out towards the Werribee Central's bloke chips in. Here's a bad kick in turn, and it sits in the arms there of the Bannockburn boys as they come out towards the half-forward flank to the wing area. Oh, it's a race. It's a foot race for the ball. This bloke should have been in the half-time sprint as he picks it up, gets on the left boot, gets tagged just after he kicked it. No free kick. Big Joe Pace takes a great mark on the wing against a pretty big opponent in Zane Carroll, who I've led to believe is a pretty good player. Up goes Junior Hart and takes a wonderful mark in front. A bit uncontested. Steve Delahunt was probably shepherded out of that. In comes oh, Hart. Shocking Bad kick. kick shocking kick with the wind. He's got to use the wind, boys. And it's again picked up by the Bannockburn boys. Stephen Thompson made Stephen an absolute Thompson. meal of it, didn't he? He's come back to him back now. He's got it back, Stephen Thompson. Oh, he's got a handball that's been dropped like a hot spud. The umpire's going to have to come in and bounce this, I think, and he will. Without being negative or critical, Stephen Thompson's probably slow as you, Grubby. There's not many about that's still as slow as me anymore. <laughs> uh, but I must admit, I was pretty quick in my day, though. How it goes. No one gets a tap out. Oh, Barney gets a big round arm at it. In comes Daniel Thomas. Gets onto the left boot. He's looking for his little mate in Johns. A nice handball to Colleen. Colleen's got an open goal and he's going to miss it. And it's off to the left for one point. And that's a bad mistake, actually. That should have been a goal. Well, it should have been. He was. Uh, he had plenty of time to have a, a look at him, didn't he? And he um... Bit of nerves, though. As I say, they're only, they're only a few minutes into the grand final and you, you just got to settle down a little bit. Well, that takes them on a seven points, Grubby, and uh, Bannockburn are yet to score. OK, wherever you've got the win, but you know, that shouldn't really be a factor, should it? Uh, no, I have to disagree. I think it's a big factor. If they can hold them to only two or three goals and get one themselves, I think that could be a, a, a huge factor in this game. I knew you disagree. That's why I said it. Yeah, <laughs> that's because I know football. <laughs> in comes Delahunt now. Oh, he's going to roost against the win. That's a pretty good kick against the win. Unfortunately, he goes to a Central's player. But in, in comes there. It must be Cameron McCallum. He's had a bit of the ball. Puts it up onto the wing. He's looking up there for My Joe Biskin. He gets the ball now. He can, looks onto the right boot. He's run a long way. Umpire says that's OK. Good kick into the breeze. Oh, it's a lovely kick into the breeze. But in falling back in there, there's, oh, it's a long way away. It could be David Kennedy. I'm not sure. It's a big, long kick. Now, this is David Kennedy going for the ball now. He's a great lead. Yeah, it was a good lead. He's Led from a long way back, Colleen can't get it. Goes over to Peter O'Malley, he scrubs a kick down towards the Bannockburn defence and it's there picked up by Eslick. Greg Eslick. Greg Eslick, he puts it over there to Donald Donaldson. And he Darren was Donaldson. With, he, the umpire saying that he was dealt with after he uh, kicked the ball, but I thought it was a fair bump. I thought it was as he was kicking it. I didn't see it. I was looking at my record to see who that other bloke was, but Zane Carroll's going to be the recipient of the resulting free kick. And, uh, gee, it's a tough kick from here for, for a goal, but uh, they tell me this kid's got a fair bit of ability, so... Hey, Grubby, he's the unfortunate one who missed out on the senior side today. And from what I've seen this year, I've, I thought, well, I, th I think he would have made ours. I think he's a very, very good player. But he's young, he's got plenty of time. In he comes. He's going to put the right boot into it. Oh, Jeez, I tell you what, it is a magnificent kick. And I tell you what, he's put it through for a magnificent oh, goal. Mate. And that <laughs> just shows you, he is a very, very good kid. A he's very good player. He's kicked it like an arrow, hasn't he? The other aspect of it too, on the negative side there, Fano, is uh, you can't give down the ground free kicks in grand finals. No, well it cost them a goal, didn't it? Yeah, the discipline's got to be there right from the start, otherwise you'll find yourself in some bother. Especially against the wind, that's an important goal against the Bruce. A very, very important win. I think they're going to be reasonably hard to kick, but we'll see as the game unfolds. In comes the umpire, throws the ball up. I like it that way too, as big Peter Gray gets a nice big tap out. Nobody can pick it up. Peter O'Malley misjudged it. Over it goes. It's going to be a free kick to the Bannockburn boy for you in the back. And that's going to go to Wes Phillips. Phillips on the left. He puts it out towards the half-forward flank. Player on his own out here. That could be Biskin again. Biskin, who set the last goal up, puts it back in towards the half-forward flank. Nobody can get it. Left hook dives back on it. He's caught with the ball and drops it, but play on's the call. No pro opportunity. Out it comes now. Nobody can pick it up. It's picked up there by... Can't see who it is. Puts it out towards the half-back flank area. It's Bannockburn everywhere. His left hook tries to come in. 
Freights misses the ball. Goes over towards the Bannockburn boy. He puts it in the left boot. He's put it in the centre half forward. He's put it in a magnificent spot. And Pilgrim can't quite take what would have been a great mark. Out it comes now. Bannockburn have the ball. He's tackled. Play on Zakov and umpire's going to bounce this. And that looked a pretty good effort in the tack there, Fano. It did. And uh, is that Ronnie Pilgrim, did you I hear you call? No, I didn't call him. Is he playing, is he? I thought you said Pilgrim come out to... No. Uh, no. Oh, Daryl Pilgrim, sorry. Daryl Pilgrim. So, yeah, Ronnie would be in the senior side, wouldn't he? I hope so. He's no good. Sorry, Ronnie. <laughs> no, he's a good bloke, Ronnie. I hope he watches his team. Yeah, he's a terrific bloke. Bounce it again, it's pretty scrambly. And the umpire says, come on, clear it out, boys, and let's get this game flowing. Well, that could be just uh, grand final nerves this first ten minutes being a bit scrambly, Grubby. Well, sometimes, it's, you know, you, you might do better to kick against the wind while you've got the wind but with the nerves, but it's a big tap-out this time by the Bannockburn boy. It's the first tap-out they've won by Grant Troy. Goes down towards Roweth. He's a gun Roweth in this second side. He's put a beautiful little he's kick around that, the corner, and he's put it through for a goal. He's dangerous, isn't he, around that Oh, he's line. very, very dangerous. And been a very good player for a long, long time too. Yeah, this will be his first or second year in the reserves. Yeah, I can remember him playing out at Lee Districts. He was a pretty good player then too. Um, I think a lot of the talk around the town was Pilgrim's very, very dangerous. And, and while he, whilst he is, I think that the trump card up there is Rowie. I think he's a, a wonderful player. Yeah, you're right. About the only bloke I know that probably could handle him is sitting in this box doing the commentary there. Yeah, and yeah. I was up goes the ball now. Big Peter Gray and Ruck against against Thompson. Probably goes to Gray, but it goes to the Bannockburn boys. They can't get it out. He didn't have the ball, and the umpire says, hold the man. And uh, the Bannockburn boy will take the free kick in there. That could be Wes Phillips. It is Wes Phillips. He puts it on the left. Oh, it's a good kick and a big lead out there. It could be 50 metres. It's not. It's called play on. Zane Carroll goes back onto the left foot. If last impressions are any good, he could just about kick this as he puts the left boot into it. It's gone close, but it's not quite close enough, and it veers off to one point off to the left. That's the way he bounced off that... Uh... Oh, he bounced off him and... Kept going like a, like a real good player. Well, he is a good player. As you mentioned before, he'd probably make the wear of his side, wouldn't he? Oh, well, he could do at this stage. He's, uh, but he's only young. He's got plenty of time to go. That's right, yeah. And uh, I know the Bannockburn people will look after him pretty well. As out it comes towards Hart, he can't get the ball. It's punched back by the Bannockburn boys. Out it goes now. This, this is Wes Phillips might get another free kick here. He didn't quite. Umpire said no. He goes in hard again. Picked up by Roweth again. Roweth onto the right boot. Puts it into the forward line. It's a beautiful lead by Daryl Pilgrim. And it's just as good a kick, and it hits him right on the chest. And here's a chance for Bannock Burns. What would it be? It's third goal against the wind. It will be. It'll be their third goal against the wind. And that, uh, as you said before the game started, Grubby, it's uh, those flags over there. They're pretty, um, they're pretty steady, aren't they? The way it's blowing. Oh my word, they are. And I think if you win the toss, you've really got to got to kick a couple of goals and keep in front. But a uh, long way to go. We're only. What are we in? 15 minutes? 12 minutes into the first quarter? Yeah, about that. Yeah, a long way to go yet in this grand final. In comes Pilgrim. Well, I'll tell you what, he doesn't miss many of these, but I think he may have nearly missed this one. And he yep. has. Yep. Cross to the right. Well, that's a bit of a let-off for Werribee Centrals because he's a very, very good goal kicker, Dale Pilgrim, and not one to miss one of those. That takes him on to 2-2-14, leading Werribee 1-1-7 at probably the 14-minute mark of the first grub. Yeah, that'll do, mate. Dave Kennedy kicks it to himself and plays on. Doesn't take a bounce, decides to go for the big roost up towards left hook, but there's Bannockburn players everywhere. He's going to have to be good, and he decides to go for the boundary line for safety and wait for a few of his teammates to get across there. Left hook's a bit of a key in this side. He's come down from playing most of the games in the seniors, and he's going to have to perform pretty well here today. Why would he have missed out, Grubby? No, good. Not good enough? <laughs> He'll kill me for that. Up it goes. <laughs> Roweth's going to move the ball. Can't get to a Rural is it in there as well. Nobody can pick it up. Now it's picked up by Common Siley with a bit of strong play. He puts it up towards in the area of Daniel Thomas. It's punched away from him. A good punch there by Tommy Stanford, and the ball goes out of bounds for a throw in. That was a good punch, good defensive work, even though he was up on the wing. Yeah, he did have the position to do it, but sometimes they go for their marks and lose out, so that was a, a good yeah. bit of play. Yeah, nice disciplined play from Stanford. In comes the ball now. Peter Gray and Thompson in ruck. It's going to be, as I said, a pretty big battle. It goes over their heads. No free kick. Play on's the call. Peter Gray goes in hard again. Oh, they're all in there trying to get it out. It's pretty tough in the clinches. Out comes Cummin Siley again with some tough work. Jeez, he's doing some strong work in there, the boy. Comes out towards the half-forward flank. Oh, they run for the ball. It's a good side bump, but the ball goes out of bounds for a throw-in. And umpire keeping up with the game very well here at the moment. That was pretty good work there by Travis Ainley to uh, control that over the boundary line because he was under the pump from the Werribee boys. Yes, he definitely was. Definitely was. And it comes now. Again, the big boys are in the ruck. Thompson and Gray. It end up tapped out by Tim Smith. 
Nobody can pick the ball up. Yes, they can. It's little Daniel Thomas comes out of there, but a beautiful oh, interception tough. there. That's magnificent play by Travis Ainley again, and he finds his teammate in the centre of the ground, puts it back to him, puts it up towards the wing position. They've got players loose everywhere here, but left hook reads the ball with very, very well. Heads out towards the half-forward flank where Paul Hart is sitting on his own. He's got plenty of time, Paul Hart, now. He can look and think and kick. He does that. He's looking in the Bernardo direction. Bernardo can't mark it. It's almost tapped away from him now. Kick off the ground. Stanford again. By the Banningburn boys. And that was Tommy Stanford. He's and been the ball involved goes a bit. Yeah, he's going very well down there in the back line. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's started the game. He's come to play. Tommy Stanford, he's been involved in three or four incidents now that's uh, held up the Werribee attacks. Oh, yeah, that's all the little things that count too when you're against the wind. You've just got to be very, very desperate. As in it comes. Up goes the ball. Bernardo taps it oh, back over his tap. head blindly. It's kicked out of the pack. I couldn't possibly see who that was. I'll pick him up in a minute, but it's gone out of bounds on the full. Might have been coming solely yet again. I'll tell you what, it was a, uh, a great ruck tap, wasn't it? Oh, yes. You yeah. don't see many... Uh, Hunt now. Puts it down to Wood Centre, half forward. Or Fonagy's in the bag, couldn't quite get it. Thompson's out there now. Could have Too been high. over the shoulder. Play on. Not paid. Fair enough. Tiggy bit tiggy, touch with it. it's picked up by Colleen, goes back onto the left foot. Oh, he's got a couple of players there, Werribee Central's in front, Daniel Thomas can't quite pick the ball up. Jared Peters in there battling very hard, and the umpire's going to have to bounce this yet again. Yeah, poor old um, Jared Peters, he just had he had it spent before he got oh, it. Oh, bad him. move, son, bad, bad oh, move. Oh, I would say, Oh, uh, he's gone, Common Soli. He's got to go off the He's ground. gone, Common Soli. He's... Oh, look out. It's on for young and old here. I wouldn't be getting in the way of him, I can tell you that. That bloke whacked him first, actually, and if you can't cop it, mate, don't throw it first. Well, he certainly got his fair whack back. <laughs> well, he did. He did. He did. I think that's the wrong bloke to try and have a go at, as far as I'm concerned. But the unfortunate thing about it was the umpire didn't see the first one, and I think you'll find that he'll yellow card common side. Well, he might be lucky if he gets a yellow card. But he surely can't red card him. Oh, well, it's been done before. He's been yellow carded, I think. Oh, don't. Come on, come on. Get off the ground, son. And coming on uh, for the Bannockburn side, they're making a change too. They're bringing on Colin That's Rule. That's the blood rule. Colin Rule is coming off, as uh, we see coming off the ground under the blood rule was uh, Travis Ainley. Well, I think that's a red card. Yeah, you might be right. That's uh, umpire Adam Gladkey, who's the officiating umpire, coming over here in front of us, in front of the broadcast position to... Well, you probably shouldn't have done it first, son. He's Adam Gladkey, the uh, central umpire, has come over in front of the commentary box and he's told the Bannockburn player in Travis Ainley that uh, he had reported uh, the Werribee player for striking, but uh, as Grubby has mentioned, he was retaliating, but uh, that's football. Yes, that's football. I think you've... And you can only report on what you see. Well, the retaliator very, very always gets caught, and that's, that's the problem there, but you know, it's a little bit of an unfortunate. Adam Gladke's off the play out here right in front of the commentary box, has stopped play because he was still writing his essay. Yeah, it might be for, a good uh, one. Tuesday night. Yeah, <laughs> Monday probably. Oh, they've, oh they've got to get him out of the hotel, mate. Yeah, you've got to get me out. I'm the advocate. <laughs> Delahunt. Yeah. Steve Delahunt has the ball. The 50-metre penalty too was uh, applied. And the was. umpire, The umpire can't let them play on until uh, umpire Gladke out here in front of us in the commentary, front of the commentary box here. Is he still writing uh, what happened? Now, did you say that was a red card? Well, I think I saw a red card, but I'm not quite sure. They've played on about four, four times. Four times, and uh, the umpire has blown time off now. Now umpire Gladke is all clear, and Gladke was quite correct in what he'd done, though, wasn't he? My word he was, yeah. He had to hold the plate until he'd finished riding in case he had to take over play. Well, exactly, as Delahunt now sticks the boot into the ball, puts it down into the forward line. Oh, the big centrals boys fly, but down below, the big fella down there in um, Grant Troy. He's Grant Troy. got the rower. And rower's put it through <laughs> for a goal. <laughs> oh. Well, that's dangerous. That's a good bit of play. That takes uh, Bannockburn on to 2-2-20, two, two, leading Werribee 1-1-7 uh, one, one, in the 3-2, uh, three, two, sorry, 3-2-20. Three, two, well, I, I thought they've kicked four, haven't they? Oh, no, you missed that third one. 3-2-20, one, one, and we've been going probably nearly full-time, Grub? No, not quite. We've probably been going 20 minutes by the look of that clock up there. Is that clock working? No, I think so, yeah. Yes, that was a, uh, an interesting uh, little foray into the... And up it goes now, yes it was. Peter Gray in a ruck, can't quite get it. Thompson picks it up now, gets the right hand handball out. To, oh, good chip and shoulder yeah, by Paul Hart. Yeah, both boys will go for it. It's picked up there by Don Darren Donaldson. It's a bad kick though, and standing in the way is David Kennedy, Werribee Centrals. 
Geez, he hasn't got a lot of options, but he digs the right boot into it. He puts it back to whence it came. Two blokes here. Big Bernardo's trying to get it out in front of John Frost. It gets tapped over. It's picked up by the Bannockburn boy in um, Cameron McCallum yet again. Been in a bit. Nobody can pick it up now. It's dumped in. Picked up by Daniel Thomas. Daniel Thomas puts it up towards the forward line. Peters gets a hand to it. John's just a little bit behind him. It's picked up by the Bannockburn boy again. Oh, John's into, into it again. Picks it up and puts it out of bounds for a throw in. Deep in the forward pocket in Werribee Centrals, and I think they need a goal here, Fano. I, th I tell you what, that was a very good piece of play by John's under a lot of pressure, even to get his boot to the ball. And uh, it's, if it had a score, it even made a score, would have been even seen more sensational. Yeah, Werribee have got this down here now, they must score. They must get a goal, don't, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah, they must. Yeah, they have to here just to sort things out a little bit. But Delahunt takes it out of the ruck strongly, he gives it over there towards Elsick. Elsick puts it up towards the centre position. The left hook's in behind, but did get a hand to it. Peter O'Malley dives on top of the ball, gets it out again now, gets the boot to it, but there's Bannockburn players, no, in comes Buchanan, Buchanan can't pick it up, it goes to Thway, uh, Peter Gray, Peter Gray, a bad handball in the Dave Kennedy direction, but a kick off the ground by Elsick, puts it back in the half forward division of the Bannockburn side, it's picked up there by Zane Carroll, Zane Carroll on the left, puts it back in towards centre half forward, oh, Pilgrim's out on his own and doesn't take Rowell. the mark, and no free kick either, but he gets it back from Ralph, he'll kick a goal here, Pilgrim, and he does. Oh. Very clever play though by Zane Carroll to bring the ball to the front of the square. He centered it to the exact perfect yeah. spot you have to do. Well, uh, Grubby, I hate to tell you this, but I know it's only early days, but they need to score more with the wind, um, Werribee. Well, I would have thought, yes, that, that'd be correct. But they do run the ball pretty well. As you said, the key part in that, uh, Fano, it, it is early days and, uh, you know, and might be a little bit more desperate against the wind and maybe turn the tide. But Bannockburn are playing pretty good football. You can't deny that. They're playing fantastic football here at the moment. On the Spuckley's Entertainment scoreboard, we're Bannockburn are 4 2 26, and we're be a 1 1 7. And we've probably been going uh, 18 minutes, 19 minutes into this uh, first quarter. Yeah, pretty close. Someone's running the square. Someone's running the square. Yeah, Bannockburn be Werribee Central's free kick. Yeah. Bernardo to take the kick. And there's been a Name a blast the in the shot past. and kick the plays all stop. I thought the umpire stopped the play. No, he's just blowing time off again as he kicked it. As the ball in front of Justin Johns goes out of bounds at half forward flank. They've been getting it down there, but the Bannockburn, a lot of the Bannockburn attacks have started off half back, Bannock. There, yeah, you're right. You're I, right. And uh, look, if you can't get the ball, I think you've got to be a bit more desperate when the opposition does. And uh, a little bit more desperation at the moment needed. It looks like Joe Pace is coming off the ground. He's limping. Up goes the ball. Cubby. Yeah, he looks like he's hobbling a little bit. With that much weight, you and I would hobble too. <laughs> out it comes. Oh, it's picked up out of the middle by Rowan Thwaites. He's looking for Fogarty. Fogarty gives a push, but there's Bannockburn defenders everywhere, and they've got a monopoly on this. And it's picked up by Tommy Stanford, who's done well over to Jared Peters. Peters deep in the back line. Oh, he could be 50 metres there, because I don't oh, think he's going to play on. No, nothing in that. No, but he grabbed him. You can't touch him. And he kicks it anyway, and it's a nice little pass. And it goes out there to Cameron McCallum, who's been pretty prominent in this first quarter down back. Cameron McCallum, have a look for an option. Puts it on the right boot, puts it up towards the half up. forward wing. The Werribee Centrals are there, can't take the mark. Panic Burn boys pick it up out of the pack. Buchanan goes in, he gets it out. Oh, it's good play by Christian O'Malley. He puts it up to the forward line. Fogarty is a bit behind again. You've got to get in front, son. He tries to kick off the ground, but it's picked up there by the Bannock Burn defence, and they have been superb down there in defence. And the ball's going to roll out. It's going to roll out of bounds. There's two Centrals blokes changing it, but the ball will beat them and go over for a throw in. Look, I know the scoreboard indicates that Bannockburn are well in front here. You know, it's um, six scoring shots to two. But I reckon in the last five minutes, where have you had most of the play? I think they've had most of the play, but the Bannockburn defence have stood up well. Bernardo in ruck, but he doesn't get a chance because Peter Gray sneaks in and grabs it. Beaker can't pick the ball up. Goes over there towards Bannockburn. It comes out there to Tommy Stanford, is it? No, it's not. It's Cameron McCallum yet again. He picks it up. He puts it on there to Biskin. Biskin puts it up. Left hook can't quite take it. It comes out to Junior Hart. He gets a boot to the ball, but it's a hurried kick. Peters drops the soda. Comes back into the... Bounces off his chest. He picks it up again, though. He butters up beautifully, but a bad kick puts it in the arms of Scott Left hook. Probably almost in the centre of the ground. They've got to be a bit more run here on the forward line. He hasn't got much to kick it to as he drives the ball down towards the true centre-half forward position. It looked panic burn, but up goes the Central's boys and Kennedy. Goes to Christian O'Malley, evades a tackle, gets a boot out, but again under so much pressure that he's put it off to the right-hand side over for a throw-in. He's going inside, I think. Uh, well, Ainsley, he doesn't look too good. He's only new at the club, this fella, but I've learnt pretty, pretty early that when this fella hits you, you stay hit. I can assure you of that. 
Well, he's obviously stayed in. He's going inside mm. to have a look. I'd say the doctor's going to have a look at him. Over it comes. Well, if you can't handle it, you shouldn't throw one first. And out it comes. It comes out the rule. He gets the ball into his right boot, puts it up towards the centre position. But O'Malley comes through with a big torpedo. You don't see many of them in today's footy, but it's all Bannockburn oh, in defence. And Delahunt takes a strong mark. There are a lot of players here. Both sides have got a lot of players that have played a lot of senior football. They have, they have. As Delahunt. It's a good kick against the wind out and towards the half-back flank. Up goes Jared Thwaites. Can't take the mark with a Bannockburn opponent. He picks it up now. Probably gets dragged a bit lower. Doesn't matter. Goes to Barney. Mark Bernardo, the captain of the side. He's a long way out. He'd be too far out to score for him because he couldn't kick over a jam tin. So he's got to look for a lead. It's forthcoming oh, over not here. A but he's kicked kick. straight for two Bannockburn players. Peter Gray tries to get in the way. Nearly gives a free kick away but doesn't. O'Malley tries to follow it up. He's trying to pick the ball up. No, goes nowhere. Rule gets the ball. No, he doesn't. It's chucked out towards Peters. Peters can't get it either, and the ball will roll over and bounce, out of bounds for throwing. The thing that I've noticed about the uh, Werribee forwards, uh, Grubby, is they, when they get near the ball, they go to ground too much. They've got to stay on they their have, feet. They have gone to ground a bit, and they haven't done that for the most of the year. So, you know, a little bit Maybe of nerve still yeah, probably yeah. in that game. Up goes Bernardo. No one really gets a clear tap out, but it comes back to Bernardo. He gets a funny-looking handball, but it's a very good one. It's smothered off Johnson Johns's boot. Comes out towards Bannockburn again. Can't pick it over. He's up. Good play, though, and the ball goes out of bounds. He's going to get a free kick, and it's going to be Simon Moody by the looks of it. He's a long way away from us, but I think it's Simon. And my eyes can't see that far. Oh, no, mine either. On the right boot. Kicks it up. Oh, big Peter Gray should take it. Can't quite. Had the bit of a sit there. As the ball gets rushed out towards the wing position, half forward flank maybe. It's picked up there beautifully by Stanford. That's David Stanford. Left hook off his knee. Picks it up again. Keeps running. Tries to keep it in play, oh, but just can't quite. Luck. Umpire might have got away. The umpire was about four and a half feet away, and he couldn't convince him that it wasn't out. And he's the Simon Beasley looking like, is he? <laughs> yeah. Sean Wellman. In it comes. Bannockburn get the big knockout. It's going to go to the Werribee Centrals in Rowan Thwaites, though. Rowan Thwaites gets a funny-looking kick. It goes back to Gray. Gray taps instead of grabs it. Probably a good option. Comes out to O'Malley. He puts it over towards Kennedy. Kennedy's usually a beautiful oh, the shot for goal. Sam. And he's kicked a telling goal on the siren that they most desperately needed. Yeah, that's Noel a goal. Fanning. That's a goal. They needed that one, Grubby. <coughs> so at uh, quarter time, Grubby, uh, it's 13 plays 26. Well, not the start that Ruby Central's wanted against that win. But there's just a couple of uh, positives to come out of that, though, when I see that win. The win looks very strong, but I can tell you, blokes like Steve Dallahunt and that are kicking the ball into the wind a long, long way. So maybe it's not quite as strong as we thought, but you can't undetermine the fact that Bannockburn played fantastic football for a lot of that quarter, and when they got in their forward line, they, they really capitalised on their opportunities, whereas Werribee Central's got it there a lot and were forced back on many occasions from a, a very, very good Bannockburn defence in this first quarter. Look, that goal that they just got right there at the end of that quarter, they deserved that goal because I reckon they had most of the play in the last 10 or 12 minutes of, the, of that quarter. They did, but again, all credit, still got to go to the Bannockburn defence. They yep. wouldn't let them score them goals that they really desperately needed. And I just, but the only other thing too, Noel, is those goals kicked on us or after the sign, usually they turn out to be a team lifter. And, and, and they can be telling goals too. Very, very much so. Right very on, mate. So. We'll be back with the second quarter.